A quick note before we get started. This is an addendum to debunking 200 proofs for Flat Earth 106 through 109. After making that video public, I was told that there were some things I missed and some things I could do better. Here is a more complete debunk of Proof 108. He is coming. Cover your butt. Help fight the Flat Earth bots by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more weekly content. 200 Proofs Earth is Not a Spinning Ball by Eric Dubay 108. The Mariner's Compass is an impossible and nonsensical instrument for use on a ball Earth. It simultaneously points north and south over a flat surface, yet claims to be pinpointing two constantly moving geomagnetic poles at opposite ends of a spinning sphere originating from a hypothetical molten metal core. If compass needles were actually drawn to the north pole of a globe, the opposing south needle would actually be pointing up and off into outer space. Okay, this one took me a bit to figure out what Dubay meant by the compass needing to point off into space. It was confusing because Dubay doesn't seem to understand how magnets work. Okay, let's place a person on the equator with a compass. That compass will point towards the north pole, and it will create a line that is perpendicular to the tangent of the surface of the earth. But, according to Debay, the compass should point to the North Pole, creating a line that is 45 degrees to the tangent. Now, the south part of the needle is pointing towards space. So, this is what Debay expects to happen, and he's complaining that it doesn't occur. Like many other times that Debay makes predictions as to how things should work on the globe Earth, Debay completely fails to understand the very model he is trying to debunk. You see, compasses don't point towards the North Pole. Compasses align themselves with the Earth's magnetic field. You can see this phenomenon by placing compasses around a bar magnet. You'll notice that the needles never point directly to the poles, but instead align themselves with the magnetic field produced by the magnet. If we superimpose the Earth's magnetic field, you'll see quickly why the compass needle doesn't need to point at space. But none of this matters. While it is true that compasses line up to the Earth's magnetic field, rather than simply pointing towards the North Pole, a compass is also incapable of pointing down or up. Compasses are designed to only work on one plane. However, this does not mean we can't test the Earth's magnetic field. As we have already talked about, the Earth's magnetic fields look something like this. What this means is that there are some parts of the Earth where the magnetic field is pointing straight down. In a way, Dubé is correct in thinking that we should be able to see compasses point down. It's just not for the reason that Dubé gives. As it turns out, the Earth's magnetic field is not parallel to the surface of the Earth at all points. As you travel further south and further north from the equator, the Earth's magnetic field becomes more and more perpendicular to the surface of the Earth. All we need now is a compass that can freely move. I wonder if one of those exists. It does. This is a dip circle. It is used to measure the angle between the horizon and the Earth's magnetic field. With the right tool, it is possible to achieve what Dubay thinks should happen on the Earth. A more modern and precise device can also be used. This is a Tesla meter. It is used to measure magnetic fields. By using this device, it is possible to measure the strength of a magnetic field in three dimensions. Using a very precise Tesla meter, the Earth's magnetic field is very weak and it requires a very sensitive device to measure it, it is possible to check Dubay's prediction. So, does the Earth's magnetic field actually point down as Dubay says it would if the Earth is round? Yes. Yes, it does. Dubay has managed not just to fail to give a proof for the flat Earth, but he has also provided evidence for the Earth being round. Thanks, Eric. What is better than Dubay's misunderstanding is that he fails to apply this kind of thinking to his own model. Remember this picture? If we use Dubay's idea as to how magnets should behave, then if we were to take a compass somewhere on the northern hemisphere, then the south portion of the needle would point directly to the ground since it's all the north magnetic pole. The same thing would be true in the southern hemisphere, except the north needle would be pointing to the ground. Dubay puts so little thought into his proof that his own debunk debunks his own model.